Hi, I'm Jen, and I know many of you were waiting for me to do my unboxing video for my inventory box from Tried and True Inventory. Um, so I'm going to get started, and I'm just showing you right now my drafts. I have everything already loaded onto Poshmark. I still have to do my measurements, so they are not on my page quite yet. Um, so my first item that I got from my box was the Talbot's Mock Neck Button Back Top, which is that first purple one. And all of the items that I received, well, I shouldn't say all, most of them, came in the plastic just like this. It has the tags on and also the sticker on it tells a nice description. So when I put that into Google, I was able to find stock photos for everything in the box except for one item. And I'll show you that one last. But so this one is at Talbot's. And one of the things that I loved about this box was that I got all sizes from extra small all the way up until 3X. Um, I got a lot of women's clothes, some guys' clothes, um, even a pair of youth shoes that I'll show you. Um, the next thing that I got was a Puma Essential Jersey Polo that was also in the plastic. has tags on it. So when tags are on, normally I would... Um, price things, you know, maybe about half of what they would sell for in the store when I'm doing it. But with tags, I feel like you could price a lot more close to retail. Um, so I'm always going to start off pretty high. And then if I need to take it down afterwards, I will or give a bigger discount. So and I liked a lot of the, the guy sizes I got where I feel like really good selling sizes. So this one's a large. And then my next one is the ASOS, which is Collusion Plus, and it's a check pleated mini dress, and it's a button down. And that one was in a size 18. Um, a, a cabby high waist seam detail legging, which feel like really nice leggings. And that's a size small. And those also, like I said, have the tags. And let me scroll down to show you some more. The next thing I got was American Eagle. And it's the offline line. Offline goals. And it's a 7 8 inch legging. So kind of like an ankle. You can see it still has the tag on the top. And they feel really nice. Um, the North Face, and it is the Half Dome Tee. It's a man's t-shirt, which I guess it could kind of be unisex. Um, and it's gray with the black print on it. And it's a man's medium. The next one that I got was the Wrangler Jeans, and it's the original fit. And it is the Premium Edition, which is um, George Strait, the Cowboy Cut Collection. These ones did not come in plastic, but as you can see, it does have the tags on it. The next thing I got was Zara shorts and their high rise fit, which I need to check my spelling on that one. Um, they're distressed and cut off. High rise is a really big seller for me right now, so I think these will go fast. Um, and then my next two, I got two Fabletics tops. The first one is the Kessler tank, which is like a maroon color and like a, um, it's, it's actually called rust. And then the other straps are pearl pink. And then my other Fabletics that I got, it's like a chocolate color. I think they call it cocoa. Um, but when I looked up stock photos, I saw that there's multiple ways to wear the top, which I thought was really cute. The next thing that I got was, um, actually I got three of this brand and I'd never heard of it before. Um, and it's the Princess Polly. Um, two of them were kind of like a crop top fit and one was a bodysuit. So the first one is the Princess Polly Tilly Top. And you can see it's so plastic here, but um, it does have tags on it. I will take them out to do a regular picture as well as my stock photos for when I post. Um, the black is the bodysuit. 
still in the plastic and it has the tags. And then the next one is a red, a net top is what they call it. And that also has the tags on it, still in the plastic. So one of the things I really liked about this was I was learning new brands as I opened the box because I didn't, I hadn't heard of all these brands before. And some of them, which you'll see as I'm coming up, I didn't know one of these jean brands and it was actually a really, um, they had high comps. So I was excited. Um, my next one is Under Armour sweatpants and they're a men's extra large. And then an ASOS Seersucker Shirt Striped Maxi. Oops. And like I said, it makes it really easy to find stock photos because as you can see, they have the description right there. I just typed that in and it popped right up. My next piece was a Lululemon and it's a check the box long sleeve crop shirt. My next piece is an ASOS, oops, long sleeve sheer Dobby plunge. And this one um, came in the bag. It does not have tags, but it did come in like that plastic. Um, but I mean, it's, it's a new condition. And the bag still had um, all the information on it, so I could easily find that stock photo if I wanted to use that. Um, I got the Gymshark Legacy Shorts, size medium. Gymshark's always a fast seller, I know, so I'm excited to list these. Puma Essential Logo Man's pant, Men's Pant, and they're the regular fit. You could see the little Puma emblem here. Now these were the ones I'd never heard of before. I don't know, maybe you have, but it's Jaded London and it's a brown patchwork denim. Um, I had never heard of them when I pulled them out. I, I didn't think much of them. And then when I looked up comps, they are selling for like $100. So I was super excited. Um, here they are, tags in the plastic. The next one is the Asics Performance Polo. Once again, plastic, new with tags. I also got a Lucky Brand Aerial Maxi Dress. And this is very cottage core. I think that'll be a quick seller. And then these Nike Air Max or Recraft 95, they're a youth size seven. And then I got an ASOS Collusion and this one is actually a unisex cardigan sweater. And this is a size medium. Um, I'm not quite sure how to put that on there. Normally you have to choose men's or women's. I think I might list it as a men's and then for a style tag, put unisex. If anybody has another idea on how to do that to let people know, um, please let me know. And then my last piece that I got was this Kipling bag. And I was kind of excited because I had not seen this bag anywhere else when I was looking on Poshmark. Um, when I searched um, Poshmark, I didn't find this exact style um, a lot. The retail was less than this one. I didn't find it in the regular or the sold comps. So I know that it's not oversaturated. So that's always a good sign. And they come with like a little cute animal. I know that they sell these on QVC, if you're a QVC fan. Um, so that's a Kipling bag. And then it's a really nice bag. It has the, the sleeve to put over your luggage if you're traveling. Pockets inside and also a spot for your laptop. 
Um, and then the one item that I have to take my own pictures because I could not find stock photos for are Zara shoes. And they came in the shoe bag. I just took them out. And they're a small heel. And they are like a beaded floral pointy toe shoe. Once again, with tags. So those are really cute. I think those are a US size six. Um, so I'm really glad that I ordered. It did take me a while to order. I was hesitant. I know I knew that it wasn't cheap. Um, I kind of went back and forth. I do do thrifting a lot um, to source, but um, I am a teacher. So going back to school, I didn't know how often I was going to be able to go um, and thrift. So I wanted to give this a shot, see how, um, how the items were, if I would be able to do this to kind of keep up on my sourcing throughout the school year when I didn't have time to go to the thrift stores all the time. And I feel like this was it went above and beyond my expectations. So if you would like to order your own box, you can use my code um, from Tried and True. They do have, the boxes are $350. And if you use my code, you will get $50 off your first box. After that, each box is only $250. Um, so if you want my code, my code is, let me see, there we go. The $50 off code is Jen Alfirio, J-E-N-A-L-F-E-R-I-O. Um, when you put that in, it'll automatically take $50 off your first order. Um, so once again, that's tried and true. And here's the website. It's triedandtruecoaching.com. And you can see they sell coaching and inventory. She also has a lower end box, I think, for $150. And she just posted a shoe box if you just want all shoes, if you're big on selling shoes. So that's tried and true um, coaching and it's coaching and inventory. So um, if you want to sign up for her coaching, I did not do that, but I know she does offer that. Um, she's very responsive. If you have any questions, she seems very nice. Um, but here's my code again. It's Jen L. Firio. All right. If you have any other questions, please let me know.